Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to work with a live wire life cycle hooks. And if you go to the live wire website inside the documentation you have the, the life cycle hooks here and here we have a mount function run on immediately after the component is instantiated but before the render method. Okay, we have the heat rate and other things and updated so mount hydrate and updated is more common use and with these three we are going to work we have here updating updating full for example if you have uh, here we have a laravel fresh laravel application i created a hello world live wire component and here is the class and here is the template and for example if we want to work with the updating full we make updating title and give it the name and it's going to work okay so first i'm going to work with the mount function and if we go here now we have the application we have the input with wire model title and display the title here and we have the wire click reset title to reset the title to this title we have live wire and if I refresh and go here reset now it's going to be red live wire okay now I'm going to work with the mount function mount and his title is going to be uh, mounted title for example save go in and refresh now uh, we have a mounted title okay uh, we can pass parameter to this uh, title and if I go to the welcome sorry if I go to the welcome blade here and inside the where we put the component we can pass here the parameter for example I'm going to add the title and it's going to be welcome title save and if I go now here we expect a title and save it and if I go refresh now we have the welcome title we can access the request here if we want uh, request request and it will be request title and if I refresh we don't have anything because we don't have any title yet but if I go here and um, title hello there we have the hello there okay and if you go here inside the live wire the website you have some nice this uh, explain how to use the mount function now we I said you we have an hydrate and the updated most common use so if I go and make for example another property here public uh, I'm going to make uh, 
uh, test for example is nothing and here just display that test um, here test and test save and inside here I'm going to add public function hydrate and this test is going to be with that test save and if I go here we refresh okay if I put something with a title now we have the now I did test okay if I refresh again and just put when the request is going to happen for this for this uh, parameter here is going to run the hydrate for every request and to, to explain you I'm going to make it uh, this I'm going to call it uh, mount call and it's going to be by default zero and okay, here hydrate call and now inside here I'm going to add this mount call plus plus inside hydrate of this hydrate call plus plus save and I'm going to display now here I'm going to add the mount call and here the hydrate call save and if I refresh now we have one mount call here so we make a call to the mount method but not to the hydrate okay but look now if I type anything here inside the title okay we make an hydrate call but I'm going to remove this debunk but because it's going to save refresh again and now look when I type something here we have one hydrate call make another one another one another one every time we make a change to the state or to the property here to any property the hydrate is called okay now I'm going to we don't have a test just remove it here I'm going to make another one for the updated and updated and another one for uh, updated call and here the same thing. Save right here. So refresh undefined variable because we don't save it here. Sorry. Yeah, we make only one mount call. And now in the here I'm going to make the mount call. Save go here. 
refresh and we have refresh again sorry yeah? we did not want call here but updated call my mistake and now if I make it here now we have one hydrate call and one update call two updated three four five six okay you see we have eight hydrate call and eight uh, update call yes but what's now if I hit the, this reset button now hope well, we have only hydrate calls for this and if I reset again again the hydrate call is called and the updated is not called so stack uh, that's it how the live wire hooks is uh, working if you go here you have the updated full and for example updated uh, title save and go here refresh but if I make for another component here another uh, property here for example uh, test and this is going to be by default test save and here I'm going to add the updated test save refresh and now we have only the hydrate call because we don't update the we don't affect the test so the updated is not called okay i think you enjoyed the what the video if you like please subscribe and like this video and see you in the next one thank you very much